skateboarding is sometimes known for being harsh, clicky, and gatekeepery. Today we're going to follow along the journey of this self-proclaimed poser and see how he progresses over three months of actually learning how to skate. Becoming a skater boy poser alert by Kev Boy. This sounds right up my alley. Let's get into it. Oh my goodness. My dog, are you good? We got a YouTube play button. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Kev Boy. We got some skate highs. Charge it, but I'm going to become a skater boy. First Let's go. First, Sounds good, dog. About these, all my shoes and ah. fans collection. And 96% uh, of the comments were, "Do you even skate?" And I was like, "Ah, I don't really skate." <laughs> yeah, so everyone was interesting. Me a poser, which technically they're not wrong, but you definitely on, shouldn't. Start skating for any other reason, skating. then you like it. That's right. This is interesting. It's like almost out of spite. Out of spite. I did start skating. Um, but let's see it. For that one, it's a cool hobby to get into. Two. Yeah, it's um, true. My best friends Ethan and Micah, they skate a lot, and they're always at the skate park. I'm like, Yo, Ethan, you want to hang out? He's like, Sorry, man, I'm skating. So <laughs> sick. Kind of had to. All right, looks like we're gonna have some good teachers. I just wanted to start skating so I could hang out with them. Anyone can know how to skate, right? That's a normal thing, but. To know how to dress like you know how to skate. Man, the content creators, so it's always video, talking about the look. Dressing like a skater. Okay, so let's see. After exactly 13.4 minutes of searching, I found my two tops. The two shirts I'm going to wear. Alright, I think I might have to skip. I'm sorry, dog. War without the a, I can't. Without the a, and there's a dove, like, hearing the A the piece. Um, oh, and we got the skate highs. Nice. Let's go, Ollie. Dang, homie, he knows what to do. Whoa, that was lit. He's even got the grip odd on his board. Yeah, it's funny to think like okay, in school that move. like everyone would have got into maybe skating. If I move while I do it, so I'm gonna try that. At my school, I was very much me and my friend group were the only skaters kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that's pretty good. Yes. Let's go. But let's move on to the next trick. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Turn the shoulders more. Just a little shin action. You gotta bend the knees a little bit more, too. See how... This is something that I always tell people. See how he isn't bending his knees? He's just bending his waist down and not bending his knees. You don't need to do any of this waist action. You just need to bend your knees and up. You like your head should pretty much just be straight upright. You should never really be like bending over like this. But for a front 180, I can understand he's trying to kind of wind up. He's just really bending his his torso down and not actually bending his knees. It's almost like he knows that he needs to bend his knees, but he is like trying to do something, but he doesn't know the right thing to do. Oh, that was decent. Yeah. So uh, I got to the skate park. Now I'm going to shred and hopefully not kill my other foot. <laughs> How did that happen? I mean, he's not. Whoa! I was just about to say he is not ready for that, but I guess he's done it before. Like the way he ollied, it seemed like he had done it before. There's no way you can just drop in like that. He's definitely learned to drop in at a different time. It seems like maybe his skater friends caught him. Because you can't just go to a skate park and just automatically drop in. See, like, he's kind of power sliding T. It seems like he experimented with skating. And then he used it for the content. But that was interesting. I mean, he's got a plot two. We can also check that out and see if he makes any more progress. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we got some new lights. We got a Vans banner. We got a new mic. We're gonna basically be doing the same thing as last time, just better and less of stupid because I'm dumb. dumb. Here's my board. Uh, okay, we got a new board. It's a nice board. Uh, my other board in the last video, I already managed to ruin it. My bearings are also really dirty. So in the last That's video, uh, you know, I was like, all right, I'm gonna dress like a skater, okay? You guys told me that skaters just dress however they want. That's, that is that's very skating, true. You know? You're not dressing. Very to true. Skate, you're dressing to be yourself, and then once you become yourself, then you become the essence of skater. We got a motivational speaker I'm out here. Wear whatever I want to wear. So if I want to go skating in this, let's do I it. I can go skating in that. 
Let's see how he's improved. The thing is, is if you skate once and then three months later skate again, you're not gonna improve. But if you skate and you keep skating, then you definitely will. It's impossible for you not to improve. And sometimes it's hard to even notice how much you're improving. And then you go back and like watch a video and be like, whoa, like that's what I used to be like. That's crazy. Dang, that was good there. I think he's got to work on his crouch a little bit. See, he's got the force, but he doesn't have the like, skating is about transferring the energy into the board. And it's not really about your brute strength. Honestly, he is really improving. Look at that slide. That was good. That was big height. So, that's my ollie. I'm gonna attempt to do a kickflip because I know I can't do it. I've only done it like three times. Dang, that's sick there. Change, and if you don't know what that is, it's basically when you when you start off on your board like this, you do the trick and then you land like the opposite way. It's kind of typical that people accidentally do like kickflip body varial or like varial flip first. Dang, he's coming in with speed. Bro, if you just do it stationary, it'll be so much easier. And like, like what you said, don't go full force. Just See, do like a controlled force. Good. Oh, yeah, he's he's really kicking so hard, and then it's like shifting his whole body position. But I think just be stationary and like really try to like finesse it more than See, just like brute force it. That was these two. Much better control. Yeah, here we go. Stationary, please. But see, like he again, he just needs to kind of jump up. I think if he bent his knees a bit more, he would be jumping up better. We're gonna move on to the next trick. I attempted last episode front side 180. I'm gonna do it now. I don't know if I can do it, but I'm gonna try. Let's see. And there's nothing wrong with holding the board from the truck. Like people are so sensitive off like more grab, but it's like you gotta hold the board somehow. You're trying to kick flip and you're picking it up. Like there's no problems. Yeah, we have improved though. Like that is much better. On the height house. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna be serious. I didn't get that, but I came pretty close. Um, so I'm gonna try. See how far I can manual. Dang, you could have landed that one there. See, that's there looking good go. too. We're back at the skate park today. My filmer is gonna be Nathan Mulcahy. Bloody mask, why? I want a helmet at the skate park. Because the skate park forces you to, so there's your answer, and safety too. See, look, doesn't hurt. Okay. I mean, nothing wrong with wearing a helmet. See, look, he, like, he's pretty good at carving it up, you know? Especially last time we seen how he's like, look, that's legit. We seen how he's kind of like power sliding into the kick tents too. Yeah, powerful drop in. Look, like legit just carving it up. I wonder if this dude like surfs or snowboards. Yeah, big ass. Oh. But that was cool. I think he can keep going if he keeps skating. I would like to see him skate more with the friends that he talked about. I think that would really help him a lot. But that is it for this video. I like skate.